Let's go ahead and open this file. Looks like somebody's Excel spreadsheet was leaked with user ID and passwords on it. Okay. Well, welcome back to the channel, my friends, and welcome to the Summer of Secrets. I have no idea what that means, but I'm definitely into summer, and I'm definitely into secrets. So let's get started. Now, if you're like me, you're probably scouring the internet for information disclosure vulnerabilities on government websites by using Google dorks, or maybe you're not like me and you're using Google dorks to follow your favorite celebrity or to make sure your kids aren't posting crazy stuff on the internet. I have no idea. But anyways, my point is nobody remembers all the commands for Google dorks. So why not make a programmable search engine and Google to do that for us? So if we log into Google and we go to programmable search engine.google.com, you can see here that I have two search engines set up, one for OSINT and then one for a people search. So if we click on my search engine called documents and we come over here to the search features, and we go to refinements, you can see that I'm asking Google to search for these following documents. So PDFs, if we open this, I'm looking for extensions for PDFs. I'm looking for documents. So an extension that ends in DOC or DOCX. I'm also looking for Excel spreadsheets, PowerPoint presentations, text files, zip files and so on one custom one i'm also looking for is for official use only so if you're searching for low-hanging fruit on a bug bounty program for information disclosure for official use only is a good one to search for the setup for this is quite easy when you create a new search engine so just go through and name it what you want make sure that the search entire web feature is on and then go through the users who you want to add. Once you're done with that, this is what the custom search engine will look like. So if I come over here and I type in top secret, for example, you can see that Google now categorizes everything for me in what is a PDF, what documents it found, Excel spreadsheets it's found for the word top secret, PowerPoint presentations. Here's the searches for zip files. So anything that has a zip file will come through. You can download that. Let's go ahead and just open up an example. Um, so let's open up this top secret file right here, nsa.gov. You can see that this was declassified though. So it was once top secret, but it's been declassified. If it wasn't declassified, you would have a pretty good information disclosure vulnerability on the NSA, but of course it's not that easy. What is easy is I don't have to go through looking for Google dorks. I can just come over here, type in whatever I want, and then it will do it for me automatically. Here is the search engine for official use only. So if we come down here in the search results, you can see that official use only with the word top secret. So let's take a look at this one. Transmission of restricted data over secret internet protocol, router, network, cipernet. So if you're in the military and you had a at least a secret or top secret clearance, you know what the cipernet is. National Nuclear Security Administration Office of Chief Information Officer. So this document looks like it was meant to be unclassified. Not a big deal. There's no PII in here but this is what the programmable search engine looks like. If you don't wanna create your own programmable search engine, you can come over to my website, darkreadings.com, come over here to OSINT, and I have it embedded right here for a document search. So if we type in secret again, you can see the same search engine come up with the PDFs, the documents, and etc. So if we come over here to people search, what we're gonna do is we can search across all the social media platforms. 
So back in my programmable search, if I go to social media, come over here to the features, come over here to refinements, you can see that I'm looking for Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, LinkedIn, YouTube, Tumblr. So if we open up the Facebook refinement, you can see that I am searching for the sites with this label. And it's the same thing for Twitter, LinkedIn, YouTube, searching for this specific refinement. So if we type in somebody famous like Elon Musk, come over to Facebook, you can see everything related to Elon Musk that may ever have been released on Facebook. You don't have to go to Facebook or Google to search for him. If you want to know everything about Elon Musk on Twitter, here is the Twitter search. Everything related to Elon Musk. Same for Instagram, LinkedIn, YouTube, Tumblr, same thing. This is a super convenient and easy way to grab anybody on social media. And then you can also set up alerts over in your Gmail. So whenever a new tweet or a new post comes out on Facebook or whatever regarding your subject matter, you can get an email sent to you saying, hey, this was talked about on Elon Musk on Facebook, whatever it may be, you can actually set up alerts in your Gmail account to get those notifications. But again, if you're just doing OSINT on somebody, this is a great way to do it, to set up a programmable search, add your refinements. And then when you come over here to set up, your public URL will look like this. And you can go ahead and search anybody you want. So if you're big into OSINT, if you like looking for low hanging fruit, such as information, disclosure vulnerabilities, I would recommend setting up a programmable search, add whatever refinements that you want to search the web for. I'd recommend searching the web for all different types of documents like this, even text documents. It's a great way to find extra vulnerabilities, or if you don't want to come in here and set it up, you can come over here to my website, darkreadings.com. Come over here to OSINT. So maybe we're searching for passwords. And we want documents with passwords. So let's see. Create an app password. What if we type in leaked passwords? Let's see what this text file is. While your password is here, read this. I guess here's a bunch of passwords as well. There are a ton of passwords in here. So I wonder, so let's copy that link. Let's jump over to our Kali machine. Let's power up VMware, jump in. So let's do a wget, we'll paste that text file. Let's grab that text file. Here we can see it right here, cracked passwords. Let's do a word count on cracked passwords. And you can see this password file has about 720,000 passwords in it. So let's look up some Excel spreadsheets with passwords. This is what the programmable search engine looks like. So you can quickly grab whatever information you want. Are there other secret letters other than secret letters? Meh, Sony music. What is this? Ah, secret letters music. The Secret Letters trailer, guys. I need a trailer. But anyway, that's what the social media search looks like. I mean, here's an extension we can look for too. So if we add this extension.php and we search for PHP info, it's disclosed as medium. So if we add this extension over here, so let's add a new refinement called PHP and we want the extension 
PHP. So we're gonna give priority to the sites with this label. Click save, come over here to setup, come over here to our new public URL. PHP info. And here we can quickly query the PHP info page at the But if this was disclosed on another site, such as a government site for the Department of Defense like this one, we could easily write it up as a medium severity. And this is what a PHP info page would look like. Here's a, another PHP info. This is probably not a sanctioned bug bounty program, so we're not gonna do anything with that one. Here's another PHP info page, PHP info page. So to recap guys, you can go over to Google's programmable search engine and set up OSINT refinements however you would like. If you're looking for individuals, you can set up refinements for social media to gather all their information across multiple platforms. Or if you're looking for low hanging fruit, such as information disclosure vulnerabilities, such as that write-up we saw on HackerOne, you can go ahead and set up your refinements to look for PHP info. You can look for password leaks. You can look for top secret PDF documents, spreadsheets, Word documents, PowerPoint presentations, zip files, whatever OSINT you like to gather, you can set it up over at Google's programmable search engine. I hope you enjoyed this video, guys. Have fun with open source intelligent gathering. Enjoy your summer, and I'll see you all out there on the hunt. Thank <laughs> you.